Seven Day Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den basketball community. In this case, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. All right, so y'all know I got to talk about these Lakers, man. You know what I mean? Listen, man, uh, I want to say first and foremost that Laker fans and the uh, mainstream media that happen to be LeBron James fans all should be ashamed of themselves, should be ashamed of themselves. I did a video, several videos last year about this. And I did a more importantly, I did a video this year before the start of this season about this. That video didn't get a lot of views. About 900 people watched it because nobody wanted to hear the truth. And in that video, I stated Can the Lakers still use Russell Westbrook as an excuse when they lose? Can they still do that this year? Seeing as though he was supposedly so horrible last year, averaging 18 points, seven assists, and seven rebounds. That's so horrible. Oh, unheard of. Travesty. Since he's so horrible, and the Lakers went through all last year and not didn't trade him, they went through the entire offseason, didn't trade him. They didn't sit him down like Houston did John Wall. Uh, you know, if he's so detrimental to the team, they didn't do any of this. They keep putting the guy on the floor. Right? Can they still use Westbrook as the scapegoat, as an excuse for why they're losing? I asked that question. Not many people answered me on that situation because nobody wanted to deal with the facts. So now my point has been proven throughout all this time. And this is why I'm starting to do more basketball videos because the conversations I have with people behind the scenes always end up coming true, and I never put it on wax. So I'm doing my basketball videos now to let people understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. I said back then, I'm going to say it again. Anthony Davis is the young guy of the team. He's supposed to be a top five player. In order for the Lakers to be successful, Anthony Davis has to be the leader of the team. He has to take the most shots. He has to have big games, high 30s, 40s, point games. The same way Giannis, same way Jokic, and other star players do, Anthony Davis has to be that guy for his team. <clears throat> right? Despite the fact that the Lakers are trash and they don't have a good balance of a team around them, we know that. They don't have a lot of players, uh, good role players. They just don't. So they're not going to be a playoff team, a, a championship contending team, nothing like that. But for them to be any, for them to just win games, they need Anthony Davis to be the leader. He has to be the guy, right? But Anthony Davis is soft. He misses so many games due to the fact that he's always injured. If, if somebody look at him the wrong way, his, his ankle hurt, you know what I mean? And then you have to uh, add in the LeBron factor. We all know LeBron James, one of the greatest players of all time, but LeBron James is a diva. LeBron, being on a team with LeBron James comes with a huge burden, a huge load. It's a gift and a curse, right? For one, you get the, the good part is you get to play with a guy who is one of the greatest players of all time, right? The, the downside of that is every game you play, even a regular season game against a scrub team, is considered like a playoff game to the media. They're going to cover it, <clears throat> right? They don't want to blame LeBron James because they like him. So they're going to blame someone else on the team. Every LeBron James team, everyone he's ever been on has always had a scapegoat, has always had a fall guy to take the brunt of the blows for the reason why they lost, the reason why they're not successful. Every team. Just think about it, <clears throat> right? No matter what team he goes to, every team has to have a guy who the media can pick on, who LeBron can blame things on, who 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 everybody blames in the media blames stuff on, right? Which is why I didn't want Russ going to the Lakers. Didn't want it. Didn't I knew it wasn't going to work, and I knew it was a setup from the jump. 
LeBron James is a highly intelligent basketball player, has one of the highest basketball IQs basketball has ever seen. If I know, and all I do is eat sandwiches, if I know that Russell Westbrook is not a good fit, a ball-dominant guy, and LeBron's a ball-dominant guy, that's not a good fit for them being on the same team together. If I know that, you don't think LeBron knows that? You don't think guys who make millions of dollars, Rob Palenka, these GMs don't know that? Of course they knew that. But once again, like I said, it's never been about coming to L.A., winning off a bunch of championships. It's been about LeBron James passing Kobe, passing Karl Malone, passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in a Laker uniform. All guys who finish their career – on the scoring list in Laker uniforms, LeBron passing them and having his jersey retired as a Laker and him being solidifying himself as the greatest player of all time. That's all this has been about. And there's no shame in saying that that's what it's about. And I think Laker fans know that too, but they're pretending like this team has some type of, you know, you know, every time the Lakers lose, Oh my God, man, Russ, Oh man, Russ, people take Russell Westbrook's regular mistakes that happen normally in the game and enhance them to astronomical levels. Look at these stats here, y'all. This is from the last game they played last night with Russ, uh, excuse me, the Lakers and uh, against the Brooklyn Nets, right? And we know the Nets are trash. That's another media hype team that the media wanted to be so great, some super team. This trash, never going to be good, just like the Clippers. You know what I mean? Oh, the Clippers, man. Remember, remember a couple years ago? The Clippers, man, they got Kawhi. They got Paul George. Oh, man, the Clippers, man. The Cl- Clippers trash. They trash. Like I told y'all they were going to be. I don't, nobody listen to me because I eat sandwiches. The Clippers are trash. The Lakers, trash. The Brooklyn Nets, trash. You can keep talking about Kevin Durant foot being on the line against the Bucks, Trash, bro. At the end of the day, like how many years y'all going to keep giving these excuses for these teams? Bottom line is this. Let's stick with the Lakers. Let's stay focused. So now, let's look at Russ's stats. He was 4 for 15, had a horrible shooting night, right? And, and, and you know, Russ, this is a not a good shooting night. Russ is a bench player, okay? You see that? He's coming off the bench. He's not a starter. He's coming off of the bench. So right away, after all that crying we had to hear from Laker fans last year about Russ, uh, 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 you know, Russ needs to do this. Man, Russ got to get on board. Man, Russ needs to do this. He got to listen to the team. Man, Russ needs to come off the bench. Well, he's coming off the bench now. He, he done what y'all asked him to do. And so far, I don't know what the stats are updated now, but Russ has been averaging like 20-some points a game coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Double-digit assists, right? So to, last night he had 14 points in a not, not a good shooting game, but 14 points, six rebounds, and 12 assists. You can't beat that. 12 assists coming off the bench, he's spreading the floor out. He's moving the ball around. He had four turnovers. So what? Don't act like these dudes that four turnovers are, are, are the worst thing in the world. He got to stop this, man. Russ can't keep, keep having these turnovers. Four turnovers, bro. Four. For a guy who handled the ball as much as he do, four turnovers. He he got 12 assists. That means he's passing the ball constantly. You're going to have some turnovers. That comes with the game. Let's stop playing dumb. All right? Trey Young. Great young player for the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young average more turnovers a game than Westbrook do. Nobody says nothing about it. You know why? Because Trey Young scores, and that's all people really care about. At the end of the day, all people really care about is how you put that ball in the basket. They don't care about all the if you play defense or not. They don't care about look. James Harden was was uh, was in the MVP race, scoring thirty some, forty some points a game. Ain't playing a lick of defense, letting people run right past him. Never see no highlight reels making fun of James Harden. Nothing. Nobody cares because basketball fans, all they really care about, people like to pretend like they love 
the game and like they're so invested in the sport, right? They like to pretend like they, they know so much about the history and this and that. It doesn't matter. What we what what really matters to, to basketball fans is offense. That's all. Can you put the ball in the basket? Right? And if you can score, everybody will ignore your turnovers. They'll ignore the fact that you don't play defense. They'll ignore all the boneheaded mistakes as long as you look good while you're scoring. If you can dribble between your legs and pull back, maybe make somebody fall, shoot up a jumper, ooh, you know, and one, childish stuff, you know. This is what people care about. That's it. So now Russ has a double-double off the bench. And all you hear about is Russ's turnovers. Four of them. Trey Young does this every game. Nobody says nothing. Right? Damian Lillard does this. Four turnovers. Every single game. Nobody says anything. LeBron James does this. Every single game he plays. Nobody says nothing. But when Russ does it, it's World War III. Oh, Russ got to stop this. Oh, man, 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 Russ, man, Russ got to, what? What you mean? No. I see, I, I, I see through all of you guys. What really going on here is this. You fell into the media trap. For all you dudes who act like you hate the media so much and uh, the media love LeBron James, you love him too. You love him too. Because you're doing the same thing that they tell you to do. You follow on a script. LeBron always needs a scapegoat. If I say again, nobody has been able to answer this yet. No Laker fan has been able to answer this yet. If Russ is so detrimental to the team, why haven't they traded him yet? They had offers. Don't tell me they have offers. They have offers. Okay, they don't want to give up uh, uh, draft picks. Cool. Okay. Why haven't they set him down like Houston did to uh, – John Wall. Houston was paying John Wall plenty of money and set him down because they didn't think he could help the team. Why didn't the Lakers do that to Russ? Sit him down and say, hey, Russ, your, your turnovers are too detrimental. Yeah, those four turnovers a game you be getting, too detrimental. You know what I'm saying? Because it's your turnovers. It's your four turnovers a game, Russ, that's costing us all these games. So we're going to have to sit you. Yeah, we're paying you a lot of money, but I'd rather win games than then, 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 then have you on the floor. Why ain't they done that yet? Why? Because it's all a game, bro. It's all a scam. The Lakers want Russ on that floor. The Laker fans want Russ on that floor. You know why? Because when things ain't going the way you want it to go, you want to be able to say, Russ, Russ, remember? Yeah, I, I, bro, I peep it. I see it. Russ can be balling. He could be, Russ can be balling out of control. He do one thing. He miss a rebound and the ball go out of bounds. Oh, this dude Russ, man. Man, look, Russ is an idiot. Man, see, this dude Russ, man, oh, this dude Russ, man. Oh, this dude Russell Westbrook, man. You got it. Man, this dude's an idiot. That's what they do. Y'all hold on while blaze. Nobody talking about the real problem with the Lakers. Before I get to the real problem with the Lakers, what what Patrick Beverly done done? They got Russell on the bench. They got Patrick Beverly here. What what he done done? Two points. The entire game, uh, Patrick Beverly? What he done done since he been a Laker? I thought Patrick Beverly was shooting. He was a shooter and he was this and that. What has Patrick Beverly done since he been a Laker? Nothing. But Russ, but they brought him in. They brought in Russ, Russell Westbrook's arch nemesis and Patrick Beverly to further humiliate Russ and put Russ on the bench for, for, for Beverly. And what has Beverly done? Nothing. Russ is killing off the bench. But anything he does, look, he had bad uh, shooting percentage night. Let's, let's, let's talk crazy about Russ. Russ ain't no good. Russ trash. Okay, well, don't play him. Don't play him. I can't wait for the day the Lakers don't play him. Just so I can just just so I can see what the Lakers fans do when they don't have a scapegoat. When they don't have nobody to blame and they're forced to deal with reality. What are they gonna do? 
AD balled out yesterday. This is how AD supposed to be playing every night. I'm not saying he got to have 37 points every night, but something close to it. He can do it. If he if he dedicates himself, he may have 18 rebounds, right? 37 points. If he if he pushes himself every night and and, and, and shoots the ball 25 times a night, which he should be, AD should be shooting 25 shots a game. Easy. You're the youngest, uh, uh, best player on the team. You should be shooting 25 times a night, period. You understand me? He does that, the Lakers win more games. But when he had them games where he only shooting 15 times a game, no, bro, that's not going to fly. <clears throat> that's not going to fly. The Lakers can't win that way. Now you're just setting it up to, to blame somebody else. Anthony Davis came out and said some garbage about he would basically sneak this in Russ. Once again, throwing Russ under the bus for why they lost that other game. Talking about, oh, yeah, you know, it's good the guys are taking uh, taking responsibility, saying my bad, but, you know, can't be five times a game saying my bad. You know, we got we to gotta cut them my bads down to, like, two a game. Well, how about we need you to play every game? How about that, bro? I right, bro. How, how about we need you to play every game? How about – Every time somebody breathes on you, you don't fall over and grab your ankle. How about that? How about you get out there when you're playing scrub teams who got no dominant center? How about you shoot the ball 25 times, take it to the rack, and beast mode, crash the boards? Why do you need to be motivated to do something like this? Why every time LeBron injured, then you want to sit on the bench next to him like some weirdo? You know what I'm saying? How about you call out LeBron James sometime instead of constantly calling out Russ? I can't, I'm telling you, I cannot wait until next year when Russ is off the Lakers because I'm going to enjoy every moment of watching the Lakers suffer and watching what the Lakers fans' excuse is. And I'm going to remind y'all what y'all did to Russell Westbrook and how y'all stole this man's legacy. Calling him the worst Hall of Famer of all time. Calling him he don't deserve to be on the top 75. All kinds of nonsense. Because he playing on the team that he don't need to be playing on. So let's talk about the real problem with the Lakers. The real problem with the Lakers is Jenny Buss. That's right. On the screen right now, you, you that's Jenny Buss. That's the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers who then posed for Playboy. And it, it get more raunchy than that. But this is just for YouTube. It's the owner of the Lakers. You understand me? This is who people got to take serious. This is who people are trusting to make basketball decisions. Nobody wants to get on her. Nobody wants to what must the scrutinize this woman for the mistakes she's making in basketball, right? She let Magic Johnson walk away from the team over Rob Palenka. See, when you bring in LeBron James, cool. When you bring in LeBron James, the problem is this. With LeBron James comes... Kevin Durant told y'all this. Kevin Durant told y'all a few years ago. Remember when everybody said KD was hating on LeBron? KD said, playing with LeBron James, is, is, is he said he don't, he don't mess with it because the uh, media attention that comes with it and the, the toxic environment that comes with playing with LeBron. He has so many fanboys in the media that they're going to blame the teammates. They're going to blame everybody around LeBron for if the team ain't successful. And, and, and isn't that true? LeBron James is, is now injured, supposedly. He's supposedly injured, and he's sitting on the bench. And I say supposedly because when Russ said he was injured, his, 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 his uh, hamstring was hurting, everybody unanimously said Russ was faking it. This is a guy who showed up to play every game. Play his heart out every game, 
but Russ is faking it unanimously in the media. Oh, yeah, Russ, uh, skip, <laughs> skip. Russ talking about he heard and skip. You see how you skip, <laughs> skip. But then LeBron hurt, and it's oh, skip. Look, the man is in year 20, skip. Father time is catching up, skip. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And look at AD just looking like a creep. Ain't, don't AD just look like a creep, bro? I mean, let's just be honest here. Anthony Davis, LeBron James is the problem with this team. It wasn't the coach last year. They got a good coach in Darvinham now. It's, and I know they gonna, people are going to blame him. People gonna, They're going to smash Darvinham. But they're going to do everything but blame Jenny Buss, the owner, Anthony Davis, for not showing up every night and playing like a top five player. And they're not going to blame LeBron. He's not. People will, will mention Anthony Davis in passing. Like, oh, Anthony Davis got to play better. And you know where the conversation always end up? Russ. Now, mind you, Russ is a bitch player now. But people talking about Russ like as if he's a starter and he's the leader of the Lakers. Man, you just can't overcome them, them turnovers. Man, Russ had four turnovers. You can't overcome that. What? What? You just saw Russ have four turnovers, and you just saw the Lakers win. Why? Anthony Davis. The, the most talented guy on the team should be shooting the ball 25 times a game. He should demand the ball. He needs to get to the basket and stop shooting all these jumpers because Anthony Davis shoots a horrible, horrible shooting percentage. I, don't, I never understood why people act like Anthony Davis is so cold. He's so better, much better shooter than Giannis. Show me. Show me the evidence. I don't see it. Anthony Davis wants to be uh, uh, Kevin Durant, and he's not that. You're a big man. Then he got all these stipulations. Oh, I'm not um, I'm not about to uh, be playing center. That's too hard. Them dudes down there be too rough. Them dudes be banging and banging. I mean, I like banging, but <laughs> weirdo. Let me just tell the truth. Anthony Davis is, is, is one of the huge problems with the Lakers because they got him there as the future of their franchise, and he's not playing like that. He played like that last night. Kudos to him. Let's see him do that for the rest of the season. I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying he got to have 37 points a night. That's not unrealistic. But the effort has to be there. He got to shoot the ball 25 times a game. Too many of these weirdos. Is shooting the ball way too much. Anthony Davis should be getting those shots. The, the Lakers need to tra- start transitioning into uh, Anthony Davis taking over this team. LeBron is not going to be here. He's an older guy. LeBron going to retire soon. You see, he can't. He, he always injured now. Last year he was injured. Now he injured already this year. LeBron from the he from the fade to black. Anthony Davis has to be the guy. Rob Palenka did a horrible job in picking up free agents. Man, I mean, just horrible, horrible job, you know, in picking up free agents. Some of these dudes on the Lakers are straight scrubs, but they managed to win three games this year so far. The Lakers are on pace to win 16 games this year at the rate they're on, 16 games. But let me guess. It's going to be Russell Westbrook's fault. It's Westbrook's fault. A bench player. A man who done everything y'all asked him to do. You took him out the starting lineup. You brought in his arch nemesis. You started uh, uh, Beverly over him. Russ coming off the bench. He coming off the bench, giving you six man of the year numbers. And, and y'all still complaining about Russ. Meanwhile, you got this creep with these eyebrows out here playing like a superstar twice a year. And that's fine with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You got LeBron James who could claim he injured all the time. You know? Y'all fine with that. You fine with LeBron James yakking up threes, coming down. LeBron supposed to have this huge 
basketball IQ. This man coming down court, yakking up threes. And he's like, bro, what, what kind of shot was that? that was, that's not a high IQ move right there. Why would you shoot that? I remember one game. I can't remember exactly what game it was. But the Lakers were up. If I'm not mistaken, the Lakers were up by like, they were up. I can't remember if it was three points, two points, whatever. They were up. I know that. <clears throat> Instead of the Lakers running the clock out, running a, a high percentage play, LeBron James comes down without running any time off the clock and just yaks up a three. Misses. Westbrook gets the rebound. Rush shoots a three. Misses. And y'all probably remember the game I'm talking about. And you know what the, what the story was after the game? Skip. You just... What was Russ thinking? What was Russ thinking? Why wouldn't Russ run the clock out? Why would like, what? Russ? LeBron James shot a three-two. What are y'all talking about? What did I hear on YouTube? Man, Russ, man, Russ got to make better decisions. Man, Russ got what? Bro, okay. I see what it is. Now I'm being put in a position to look like a just a complete Russell Westbrook fanboy now. Cause now I gotta defend everything this dude do now. Cause y'all not being fair. You're not being fair. Y'all have bought into the scam. LeBron James, Jenny Buss, Rob Palenka are highly intelligent people. They, well, I, ain't, I don't know about Jenny Buss, but LeBron James and, and, and Rob Palenka know what they're doing. Clutch Sports know what they're doing. And, and y'all can talk, you can talk bad about them all you want to. You can say you talk about the conspiracy. It don't matter if you fall into the the the, the, the scam. The if you fall into their plan, then, then you ain't no better. Then I don't understand what you everybody complaining about. Uh, 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 LeBron and what LeBron be doing, and then you fall into it. You still blaming his teammates for the stuff he's done. LeBron James campaigned to get Russ there. Him and Anthony Davis. Now they blaming him. Unbelievable. So this is why I don't criticize Russ because people criticize Russ even when he have a good game and he make one mistake, they act like he can't make a mistake. He, he's a human being; he gonna make mistakes. Everybody is. LeBron make mistakes all the time. Anthony Davis make mistakes all the time. Kevin Durant make mistakes. Giannis make mistakes. Right? Everybody makes mistakes. But when you only point out the mistakes that Russ is making, eh? Sorry, I think it's an agenda. I think it's a scapegoat. I think it's an excuse. So you got this man coming off the bench now, doing everything you asked him to do. He, he, he's humbled himself. He's he, he's embraced the whole coming off the bench role, trying to be a good teammate. And that's not – people want to break him, you know. They, they ain't going to stop until this man breaks down and cry. And, and, and you know, they, 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 it's no wonder why they think they can do what they're doing to Kyrie. Why these people think they can do what they do in the Kyrie? It's no wonder because this is what people do. This is what our own people do. We don't even see the game that's being played. We don't even see it. People are literally watching Laker games, only watching Russ, <clears throat> watching for anything this man does wrong. And if you watch the game through those lenses, you're going to find what you're looking for. Look through your girlfriend's phone, any of y'all, anybody listen to this. Look through your girlfriend's phone. Look through her internet history. You're gonna find you gonna find what you're looking for. You're gonna find something that you don't agree with. If you look for dirt, you're gonna find dirt. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, man, you know. I take pleasure in thrashing the Lakers as a Bucks fan. I take pleasure in thrashing the, the Brooklyn Nets as a Bucks fan. <clears throat> I take pleasure in thrashing the, the Clippers. Because these are all the teams that y'all talk about more so than y'all talk about the Milwaukee Bucks, who have the best record in the league right now. Even though we ain't even playing our best basketball. But this is a team y'all, y'all, y'all rock with these guys. The media hype trains. You know what I'm saying? Kawhi Leonard sitting down. Kawhi ain't did nothing in, in, since since 1974. We ain't seen Kawhi Leonard play since 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 since, since uh Cadillac had an El Dorado. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen Kawhi Leonard play since Cadillac had a drop-top El Dorado. But yet, every year, 
the Clippers, man, Kawhi, Kawhi, the best player, man, Kawhi, the Clippers, with Paul George, man, Kawhi, the Clippers, every year. Hey, hey, man, KD, Kyrie, the the Nets, man, the Nets, man, the Nets going, man, the Nets, the Nets going to do, man, the Nets, every year. The Lakers, man, the Lakers, man, they got AD, they got Braun. Man, the Laker, man, the Laker got a shot. The Laker, the Laker. Whatever. Seven Eight Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. Share the video. I'm about to here. Subscribe to the channel. Deuces.